Hello boys and girls, it's Miss Preller here with your guided reading lesson for the day. The title of today's book is called What Makes Me Happy? And this book is about all these different boys and girls and things that they like to do that make them happy. Do you have any thoughts on what it might be? When you guess about something that you don't know, it's called making a prediction. You're using what you do know and you're thinking about what might happen. Now the author of this book is Marvin D. Bodner, so he wrote this book. Before we start reading, we're going to take a quick look at our learning target. Okay boys and girls, our learning target for what makes me happy is I can cross check the picture with the beginning sound. So that's a target we've been working on a lot. When we get to that word we don't know, what we do is we look at the picture, we think about what it could say, and when we get to that word, we check the beginning sound and we ask ourselves, does that make sense? Now, there's a few sight words that we need to know. Neither of these are words your teacher has taught you, but I think you can learn them. The first word is make. Make is spelled M-A-K-E. That word is make. The next word is me. Me is spelled M-E. It's kind of like another sight word you know. What sight word do you know that rhymes with me? Did you say B? See how they both end in E? So me just starts with the letter M and it rhymes with B. I think you will be able to read me with a snap. So one more time, this word is make and this word, oops, sorry, this word is me. When I call out a word, I want you to touch it with your finger. Are you ready? Make. Did you find it? Me. You got it. Make. There it is. Me. Yep. Me. Did I trick you? Make. There it is. Good job, boys and girls. So those are some sight words that we want to know in a snap. Now. The structure of our sentence is going to go like this. Hmm, make me happy. The beginning word is the word that changes in the sentence pattern. So when we start to read, we're going to first look at the picture and then check the beginning sound for the first word in our sentence. I'm going to model that on our first page of the book. Now we're going to get started reading the story. What makes me happy? Make sure you point under the words as you read. Can you read the title on our title page? Good job. Now, our target is to look at the picture and then check the beginning sound. Okay, I'm looking at the picture and I see, well, it looks like puppies, but when I check the beginning sound, I know puppies would start with the p, p letter P, and that's the letter D. So D says D, D. Oh, it must be the word dogs. Do you see how checking the beginning sound helped me figure out which word went with the picture? Now I'm going to read the sentence. Dogs make me happy. Your turn. Point and read. Good job. Now. I'm going to let you go first on this one. So first look at the picture. Now check the beginning sound. Try to read the sentence. Did you read cats make me happy? If you did, good job. Okay, check the picture. Now check the beginning sound. Read the sentence. Did you read, bubbles make me happy? If you did, good job. Okay, check the picture. Now check the beginning sound. Did you read, trains make me happy? Okay, check the picture. Check the beginning sound. Get your lips ready with that first letter. Did you read, swings make me happy? Check the picture, the beginning sound. 
Did you read Flowers Make Me Happy? Check the picture. Check the beginning sound. Did you read Books Make Me Happy? Hmm, check the picture. Try reading this one, it's a little tricky. Hmm, well here I see the f sounds. So it can't be kids. Hmm, friends make me happy. And I notice there's an exclamation point. Well, good reading, boys and girls. Before we go back and reread independently, did you have any connections to the story? Did, was there a um, page that you agreed with? I agreed with the page, Books Make Me Happy. I really enjoy reading, and I enjoy reading with you. Was there a page that you felt like me, too? Okay, so this time, Miss Prowler is going to turn her voice off. It's your turn to read. Make sure you point under every word. If you feel like you need more practice, you can always rewind this video and read it with me one more time. Ready? Point under the title and read What Makes Me Happy. Great job, boys and girls. Now we're going to go do some comprehension questions. Comprehension is where we check our understanding of the story. Here are our comprehension questions. If you don't know the answer, you can always go back in the book and look for it. So my first question is, how do swings make the girl feel? Scared or happy? What do you think? The girl is happy because the book is all about things that make us happy. We also, if you look back in the book, see a big smile on her face. Which of the following causes the kids in the book to be happy? Friends or ice cream? Well, I never saw ice cream in the story, so the answer must be friends. What is the main idea of this book? Many things make people happy, or cats and dogs make people happy. Well, remember, the main idea is the big idea, the thing the story's about. And then we have details that support the big idea. Details are little pieces. So, is it many things make people happy, or cats and dogs? Hmm. Well, cats and dogs are in the story, but that's a detail. That's just one thing that makes people happy. The story, the big idea, is that many things make people happy. How are the dogs and cats alike? They both bark. They are both animals. So how are dogs and cats alike? Hmm, I have cats. They don't bark. So the answer is B. They are both animals. Which word means Round pockets of air inside liquids. Swings or bubbles? Bubbles are air inside of liquids. That's kind of a silly question, but you guys did amazing. Thanks so much for reading with me, and I will read with you again tomorrow.